How does a deadweight tester work? That's a question I hope I can answer in this presentation. A deadweight tester generates a force over a specific area. Weights are placed on a piston and exert a force on a fluid in a cylinder. The fluid is pressurized under the piston. At equilibrium, the pressure of the fluid is equal to the force divided by the area of the piston. This is the definition of pressure, force over a specific area. Pressure equals F over A and is expressed in several different units of measure. These are very simple principles but complicated by environmental conditions. Force and area are affected by various environmental conditions. Force is affected by gravity and buoyancy. The area of the piston is affected by the temperature of the piston and the pressure surrounding the piston. The deadweight tester equation includes factors that adjust for the force and area based on all relevant environmental influences including mass, buoyancy, gravity, area of the piston, temperature of the piston, pressure on the piston, and even adjust for the head pressure difference between the device under test and the deadweight tester. Sensing and making adjustments to these environmental conditions can be done manually, but it's a little bit complex. With Mincer's CPB5000 supplied with a CPU control unit, the process is automated. When ordered as a set, the CPB5000 deadweight tester, the masses, the piston, and even your local gravity can be programmed into the CPU5000. The operator has the ability to enter in any local gravity based on his specific location. Piston cylinder temperature, ambient temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity are sensed and automatically entered in the pressure equation. The technician simply enters the desired pressure. The CPU 5000 automatically calculates and indicates the masses necessary to achieve that pressure. In this example, an operator enters in 1400 psi and masses 1, 3, 21, and 23 are indicated. Mass 1 is the bell. Masses 3, 21, and 23 are all disc. In order to float the weights to generate a pressure, close the isolation valve, prime the internal pressure media, and float the weights by rotating the volume control. When the weights rise, give a spin and adjust to a level indicated by a scribed line on the piston. Notice that the device under test pressure increases and stabilizes at or near the value calculated by the CPU 5000. Optional trim weights can be purchased to allow adjustment of the pressure to reach a cardinal value. The CPB 5000 alone or in conjunction with the CPU 5000 makes a great choice for your pressure calibration needs. Here are a few reasons why.